Okay, <clears throat> I got all my orders filled. That's 18 contracts at 25 cents a share. I'd split that order into two orders, uh, nine contracts each. One, I had an ask price of 20 cents and the other 25. And they all sold for 25. Um, <clears throat> as it turns out, the last time I looked, the market price on stock was 751. So it's hanging around the strike, which is great. Um, anyway, um, I expect by Friday it'll actually go down some. So there's a good chance that those puts will be exercised, which is fine with me. Um, I'd like to really have the stock um, next week. Let me look at my calendar real quick. Yeah, next week, if I can hold on to the stock until the um, 22nd, I'll get um, dividends probably be around $150, $160. That's in addition to the premiums. <laughs> That's just gravy. Um, anyway, looking at my uh, web page. As you can see, I've started a new uh, transaction set because I was formerly all in cash. When you're all in cash, that's when you start a new transaction set. And you start an, uh, or you close the old transaction set. You start a new one when your first put contracts are exercised. In this case, I sold 18 contracts um, and the revenue was $450. Um, now, I spend a lot more time doing the videos for YouTube and doing the website and, and now the newsletter <clears throat> than I actually do researching and, and uh, placing the orders. The research and placing the orders takes maybe... 20 minutes. <laughs> so in that regard, I got $450 uh, for 20 minutes work. Um, and remember, I've got that money already. It's in my account. I want to look at my account in a moment and see what, um, how much buying power I have. Okay, and I only have $353. Remember, you don't get a margin on on cash. You get a margin on stocks. Um, so, um, which I don't totally understand, but it, at any rate, it looks like to me they would rather have cash as collateral. But, um, of course, then they're going to be encumbering your cash. And most of my cash is encumbered by the by the options contracts. And one thing I ought to point out here, if you look up here where it says minus $594, that number is arrived at is that's what it would cost me if I wanted to bail out of those contracts by buying uh, call con uh, buying put contracts to close the ones I sold. I never do that. <laughs> I let them run to expiration. So this is sort of a meaningless number right here because that will um, disappear when the contracts expire. Then it will be just a matter of um, what they close at. If they close um, above uh, 750 or above, then they're not going to be exercised. So I just picked up $450 um, free and clear. Um, on the other hand, if it's below 750, that's going to be put on me at 750. Well, that's fine because in actuality, my cost basis is 750 minus the 25 cents. So it's actually 725. So even if I had to sell a, a, a $7 uh, call contract, I'll get a premium on that. So I'll take the two premiums together and I've made money. But, um, Remember the remember the uh, um, statement here. It's not so much what I paid for it or what I sold it for. Rather, it's my replacement cost. Success is measured by how many contracts I can cover, that is sale, and the revenue it produces. 
So it's a really simple business, really. Once you've found a good, solid stock like Haynes Brands, which was founded, I think, in 1905. Yeah. Um, and they've got the best I can determine uh, with the limited research I'm able to do. Um, they have about a uh, 70% market share in uh, underwear. So as long as we have to have underwear, um, they're going to be making underwear. <laughs> now, right in the last couple of quarters, uh, their sales and uh, profits are down, which scares a lot of people. But um, the, the retailers have been loaded up on inventory um, for Christmas. They placed those orders back in June, July, and uh, Manufacturers are, have ramped up, um, increased their inventory to fill those orders. So, and with the coming recession, the, the uh, retailers don't want to get caught with inventory, ex excess inventory. So they're not going to order as much until they work through all their inventory. Uh, but I expect after the first of the year, recession or not, you're going to see the... Um, fall in uh, revenue and sales will have bo bottomed and from there on it'll be just a question when it when it goes back up again and that's sort of true of the whole market it's going to go sideways for hopefully for a good while i make the most money when it goes sideways um, remember the option sellers prayer is please not too far not too fast and today's been a good day I want to encourage you to uh, sign up for the newsletter. I've got, I've had some good response to that in terms of people actually signing up. And certainly if you're interested, if you're truly interested in ever selling uh, covered options, I can't imagine why you wouldn't sign up. It's free. Uh, also, it provides when you sign up for that, I put you into my contacts list. So you're able to actually correspond with me directly via email. Um, if you're not on my contacts list, it goes into the waste can because I do not open um, emails from people I don't know uh, due to virus concerns and just seeing all its junk. Um, this way, if anybody ever um, offends me, um, I'll just simply take them off my contacts list and their emails will go into the uh, junkyard of the cloud, wherever the hell that is. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. If you like it, hit like and hit notify so you know when they're coming about. If you're on my, uh, uh, and the link to the uh, free newsletters in the description section. Um, so I encourage you to, to do that. I, the reason that's so important, I can like, as soon as my orders were filled, within two or three minutes, my, my newsletter subscribers got that information in detail. So if they're trying to follow my trades, they still had an opportunity to, to get their orders in. Uh, like I said all along, I'm, I'm not giving you investment advice. All I can promise you, if you duplicate my trades, is you're going to get the same results I do. And um, if you want to know what kind of results I get, if you go to my website, there's two years of, of recorded history on every day I've so you know, every Every day, every business day is there uh, for, for for this year and for uh, 20, 20, 2021. So anyway, I'm going to let you go and get on to something else. So have a good day.